Dr. Ladibor Johnson joins us now. He is the spokesperson for the NMPP Kwan Kwasi of Presidential Campaign Council. Thank you for coming on this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Well, you, you lost a uh, well, pretty uh, significant uh, uh, candidate person in, in your party. He had the senatorial ticket. He says, look, he just he had it up to here. There was breach of trust. You heard so very many descriptions as to why he left, having fallen out with uh, your principal. What's the case for, for you? Well, um, thanks very much. Um, unfortunately, um, I'll just give a brief background. Um, when he, when Shekharao was basically pushed out by the APC, uh, the Court of Appeal said the structure belonged to Ganduje. Um, I think people reached out to him or he reached out. Anyway, there was this coming together. There was an agreement that um, they would, when I say they, himself and Senator Konkozo, would both travel to Kano from Abuja um, to announce everything. And um, apparently tickets had been bought and everything, and then the distinguished senator um, pulled out. Um, next thing they heard, Ganduje was in his house. You recall, I think the day after, a few days after, um, the Ashwaju Tinumbu sent him a jet, and he was in Lagos as well. Anyway, those things happened. He came in, and um, he had some members already in the house who um, were easily accommodated. Um, but the problem, I think, was with the, um, he had um, about 31, they demanded for about 31 seats in the House of Assembly, out of about 40. Which, uh, which House of Assembly? State Kano, House, Kano, Kano, Kano State House yes. of Assembly. And um, some seats as well for the Federal House of Reps. Okay. And I believe he was told that, look, people have bought their forms things like that. You see, um, one, for those who know Konkozo, I know Senator uh, Governor McCarthy would know. He doesn't make promises like that. That's one. So I would not say that he made a promise and didn't keep to the promise. We were on the fringes and we knew there were things like, look, we together we will get Kano. Some of these people could become commissioners, et cetera, et cetera. So there must have been something that was agreed on by both parties. Exactly, but not to the terms that we will tell people who have bought forms and everything to relinquish their forms. So what was and agreed? Then, that's what I'm saying. Okay. What I'm saying is that they were like, you have people there already, some mm -hmm. in the Federal House of Reps and everything. Those have automatic tickets, but for the 31 seats you are asking for, um, it's difficult to tell these people to relinquish their forms and everything. How about and his own the senatorial ticket that he his got? His own was, was different. Yeah. Yeah. You see, it's easy to talk to one person. For anyone to relinquish, you understand, you have to talk to that person. The NNPP says it's a new Nigeria People's Party. And most people there have come from different parties. If they come into the NNPP and find that it's the same thing, that, okay, we've gone through a process. We're getting ready to um, go for elections. And then someone from the top calls us and says, no, someone is coming in, yeah. this, that, that. But then it doesn't, it doesn't all go well. Help you us will, understand this. Yeah. So uh, is, is it that there wasn't an agreement before he joined the party, or after he joined the party, then they started negotiating? No. There, you see, it, it was a bit of both. But what I'm saying is, if I say to you, Chamberlain, I will give you this glass of water, but wait, let us do this together, and you will get that water. Now, if you're a person, I don't want to insult anyone, you're like a rolling stone, forgive me, then at, if you get a better offer, personal offer, you might decide that, okay, I'll use this as an excuse. What you knew all along. So no one has um, breached any trust. Yeah, but you haven't specifically told us. We do not begrudge him. 
Yeah, but you haven't specifically no told us what exactly did uh, Senator Kwankwosu offer him if he says, I want 31 seats and some seats in the House. What, is, what was the counter offer? Obviously, they told him you can't have these 31 seats. If not, it would have been done immediately. So, so how many did they offer? How, what did they offer? What was the counter offer? What, what I know was that it was predicated on when we win together. Oh, Definitely, we will win. Can if not we, before. No, it's not okay. possible. Okay. But the, the, not the, possible. the issue here is his concern is for his own people. Exactly. We're talking himself. about his own people. Exactly. We're not even talking about now, you made him an offer. Well, he was given an offer of a senatorial ticket, but nothing for his people. He had existing people, House of Reps, who are seven, right? And they had carried them along. He had those. And Speaking he said, no, not those ones. I'm talking about the other ones. You know, Speaking so, of mm -hmm. offers, you yeah. said moments ago that uh, Shua Jibola Tunubu reached out to him amid his movement, yes. sent him a private jet. Yes. jet. Yeah. Was it on the strength of Shua Jibola relationship with the APC or on the strength of his relationship with the NNPP, with uh, Senator Kwankwesu, to be, to be precise? No, no, no. Shua relationship with the APC. Mm -hmm. Let us say that immediately. But there, there. are Hang reports on. that Senator Kwankwaso is working for Ashiwaju Tinubu. He's not working for Tinubu. Senator Kwankwaso is much, much more qualified for the post of um, president. But Senator Kwankwaso. He is not working for Tinubu. The chances of him winning the presidential election are very slim. You must admit. You think so. We don't think so. We know we have a clear path. Do you understand? The, you see, the dynamics change all the time. With the greatest respect, Governor McCarthy how, is living how in the past. How clear is this Hang path? How clear is it you, in the I'll southwest you, I'll and you. in the southeast I'll tell you. That, is, that is, you know, I'll queuing you. right now behind the candidate Fantastic. of the Labour Party? First thing, right? First thing, exactly. You, you hit the nail on the head. Let me tell you. The candidate of the Labour Party, we want him to do well. And that is why you see Atiku fishing. They know what is going on. Unfortunately, people don't know what, uh, what is going on. We're not talking about Atiku. We're hang talking on, about your on, candidate. Hang on. Let me, let me tell you. Now, Labour does well. You mentioned the Southeast. You mentioned the South-South. And, of course, Lagos and some other places. If Labour does well, who does it hurt? The Southeast and South-South have been the bread and butter votes of the PDP. That's why they're desperate and say, okay, let's go and fish. Right? Senator Kwonkozo himself has decimated the APC in the north. Now, we're not talking about governors leaving parties. We're talking about the grassroots, the Talakawas, the movement in the north. If you've been following, he's been going around opening offices. It's been, the crowds have been unbelievable. The people are coming out. So, Senator um, Governor McAfee is living in the past. He says he wants people to come back. People don't, the youth, people don't want to go back to the past. We want a brighter future. We're tired. And he says, don't be ang angry. They're angry. There's so much unemployment. So it's not a joke, and it's not going to be an election like a normal election. Me. Sorry. Uh, sorry, Mr. Johnson. Yes, um, I, was say, I was asking and saying that, you know, Senator McCarthy was talking about how uh, political parties in the opposition will need to come together, that you cannot disintegrate and hope to win an election. Uh, but let me put that aside now and talk about uh, Senator Shakarao, who, former Governor Shakarao, who's just uh, left the NNPP. Um, you've talked about how positions were already taken up and people could not be asked to step down. But also in the constitution of the campaign committee uh, for, the, for, for the NNPP's candidate in Kano there, uh, they were finding it difficult to be able to get his own followers integrated into that campaign committee. Why was that? I don't think, um, thank you, Mokwe. I, I don't think that is the correct position. The campaign committees are still being constituted as we speak. Even the national, um, the presidential campaign, uh, only two positions have been announced. Uh, that's myself and um, Honorable Abdul Mumuni Jibrin as the spokespersons. So um, I don't think that um, that is the angle, Mokwe. I think it's more than um, he had an offer he couldn't refuse. And then he decided, you know, to um, 
you, you know you have to give excuses, and that's an excuse, but it's a lame uh, one. When, when, somebody, when somebody sacrifices sacrifices a personal political ambition, he had a guaranteed ticket uh, on the platform of the NNPP to contest for a senatorial, for a senatorial seat, and you know, people were saying that the chances were very high that could, he could very well clinch it. Now, when he, say, he, when he leaves that, abandons that on the platform of the NNPP to some uncertainty in the PDP, uh, are, you, are you going to dismiss that, that it wasn't really about his followers and their integration within the party? It might be true that it was difficult to tell people to step down, but what other compensation was the NNPP willing to make while he was there? Um, again, I do not think that he would... Um, be so good as to leave the NMPP and go to any uncertainty in the PDP. I assure you, we're politicians, we know what is going on, we can't say everything on air. He has his agreement and um, it is like a football transfer thing. It's signed, sealed and delivered. He is not going um, graciously because of Nigeria to, um, the, to the PDP. That has happened. The NMPP is a party that is trying to move forward and trying to bring about a new Nigeria. If we have to do things that will cause problems with our members or with our membership, that may even lead people to go and go to court and whatever. We don't want to do that. And he's decided that he'll go back to a party that is business as usual. We heard the um, governor speak. It's all about reward, reward, reward. Perform and you'll be rewarded. What, I, what he didn't say that will call you to come and work for the people of Nigeria. Even though he, he made it look like it was a slip of tongue, he just he, 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 he repeated he, it. It wasn't a slip of tongue. It's about reward, reward, and they've told us what PDP is about. We're not going back. We want to move forward. So in other words, you're telling us now that uh, Senator Kwan Koso will not work for or with the uh, APC or the PDP or any other party that he's going to go the whole hog. He's going the whole hog. Unfortunately, I was going to give you um, an analysis, a picture. I know, but time you is know, not over. time is not over. But he's going the whole hog. We have a clear path, we believe. And our clear path, you see, Chamberlain, if OB does well, mm -hmm. and I pray he does well, especially in the places she mentioned, that kills the PDP. If Kwonkozo continues to do well in the north, that kills the APC. We might have an election where you do not have a winner at first ballot. Anything can happen. But we have six months. We're working towards that, and we're working at the grassroots level. All right, so we'll keep our eye on the ball, as they say. Thank you very much indeed for coming on. Thanks. Mr. Atlantic Johnson is the spokesperson for the NMPP Kwan Kwanko Presidential Campaign Cancer.